Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Join, uh, happy to be joined by my partner, some friends, and apparently another friend that we screwed up on. <laughs> <laughs> the live peanut gallery today. There, there is your that. enjoyment. Right. There you go. I'm Jess. Alan. Martin. Andrew. And I'm the disembodied voice, Greg. There you go. All right. <laughs> Today we're bringing y'all the Sioux line designed by Tom Russell, published by him and his wonderful wife Mary's company, Holland Spiel. So welcome everybody watching live around the world, as well as after the fact. Before we get started, big thanks to all our patrons. Help make this possible. Special shout out to our latest uh, patron, Carl Soderlund, and say thanks for being a patron and supporting the show. So thank you, Carl. Quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Thumb it if you so desire. Yes, that would be helpful. Or if you want to support the show one step further, you can go over to pledgehc.com and join the herd there. So the Sioux line, I saw that Tom Russell, friend of ours, is in the chat. So hi, Tom. Welcome. We're going to be playing six player tonight. The game only plays five. I'm kidding. <laughs> We're only playing five. We scheduled six of us. I'm sorry. My bad. So, <laughs> so Greg gets to hang out with us tonight. All right. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a cube rail game that's a little bit quirky. We've all played it a number of times at this point, a number being one or greater. <laughs> um, and, <laughs> and some of us have played multiplayer solo, uh, which, which should give interesting context later on tonight as we go <laughs> along and get into the round table. So that said, I'm uh, going to bring the camera down and chat down for the teach. The teach is going to be uh, all front loaded as I am want to do, uh, as well as uh, maybe a reading of the back of the box because kind of gives a good overview of the game. Very clear. So, yeah, uh, clear. So <laughs> if you guys are ready. Ready. If y'all are ready, Greg, are you ready? Yes. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> so here we go with the Sioux Line. So the Sioux Line Railroad is the primary United States Railroad subsidi subs subsidiary of the C CANPAC, or the Canadian Pacific Railway, one of seven U.S. Class I railways controlled through the Sioux Line Corporation. Although it is named for the Minneapolis-St. Paul and uh, Salt-St. Marie Railroad, which was commonly known as the Sioux Line after the phonetic spelling of salt. It was formed in 1961 by the consolidation of that company with two other CP or CANPAC subsidiaries, subsidiaries, the Duluth uh, South Shore and Atlantic Railroad and Wisconsin Central Railroad. So that's what this is. So the Sioux Line is a train game set in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. As in many such games, the players invest in railroad companies building track to increase the company's income and paying dividends to the shareholders. And as in several of Tom Russell's railroad games, track leasing and cooperation is required to get past high build costs, strict hex limits, and tight cube supplies. Now when you hear cooperation, this is very much not a co-op. Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing though. This is a weird game. For one thing, there is only three railroads to invest in, and the majority shareholder makes all decisions when a company operates. This means that when playing with four or five as we are tonight, some players will not be running companies themselves and will need to rely on savvy investments to stay competitive. Included in these investments are the five private companies. Privates are seated with goods at the start of the game and pay a fixed income each round, and each time a railroad delivers goods. Once their goods are gone, the private closes, and the owner derives no further benefit from the company. If a railroad withholds money instead of paying dividends, its share value drops, sometimes dramatically. Given enough time, the stock values for all three railroads will tank. The trick is to end the game before this happens and when you have the most valuable portfolio. As is usually the case with these kind of things, the winner is the player with the most money, which is cash on hand plus the value of your stocks. Note, 
No play money is provided if you don't have poker chips. Greenbacks will do in a pinch, and it makes the game very interesting. <laughs> However, as you can see, we've chosen to go the less volatile, less violent uh, version of <laughs> poker chips. Oh, and also there's a cat on the priority deal. So there we go. That's the back of the box. So what are you guys looking at? Well, on the main board, it's the hexes here represent the upper peninsula of Michigan. There are four types of hexes. There are easy or rural green hexes, as you can see. I do want to point out that there's an easy to miss green hex right here. There are also brown mountain hexes, as you can see, that are depicted with the, well, mountains on them. Then there are urban and city hexes, which are these white city hexes, as you can see. And then there are white hexes with a red border around them. These are destinations. There's a destination one, two, three, four, five, and I think that's all of them. Yes, those are the five destinations. All the other cities are just regular cities, as you see. There are three different tracks on the main board. The top one is the stock value track that is going to uh, track the value for the three companies that are in the game, the Sioux, the CNW, and the DOSA. And these cubes will be moving up and down this track dramatically as the game goes on. Then below that, there is an income track for paying out dividends, and each company starts uh, either paying at two or three dollars respectively. Then there is a bonus track which uh, tracks payouts from private companies, but also is the main timer of the game. There are, as I mentioned, the three companies. There are certificates for each of the three companies, and there are cubes which represent track when placed out here on the main board, some of which are already out here. And then we also have tracker cubes up there. We have the Sioux line, the CNW, which I believe is the Chicago Northwest Railway, and DOSA, which is the Duluth South Shore Atlantic Company. Then over on the left-hand side, randomly uh, distributed, as you can see on the left side of the board there, we have the private companies as well as the quote-unquote presidential companies over there with the stars on them, or the president certs, if you will. And of course, there is the priority deal, which we will randomize as the, as the round or as the game begins, okay? All right, so how do you actually play the game and what's the point? Well, a game of the Sioux line begins with a one-time auction round where the private companies are auctioned off and the initial presidencies of each of the three companies are going to be auctioned off. Now, these are randomly distributed as far as the order in which they came out. All of these eight will be auctioned at the beginning of the game, and the order in which they get auctioned changes every game. After that, each of the indeterminate number of rounds follows the same sequence that is an alternating set of operating rounds where the three companies will operate always left to right, meaning the Sioux, then the CNW, then the DOSA. And then after that, we will go into a stock round where players may invest in one of these three companies. This continues in perpetuity until the game ends. As I mentioned on the back of the box, or as was mentioned on the back of the box, the goal of the game is to have the most valuable portfolio of shares of the various companies and added to that your cash on hand. Players are going to be investing in these companies and the president of each company will make the decisions for each of those companies. And those decisions include which deliveries they're going to make to these various destinations out here, move goods, moving goods from the private companies to the destinations, then building track and finally deciding whether or not to pay dividends to the shareholders or to withhold to build up the company coffers to then build more rail and hopefully pay dividends in the future. These decisions will help shape both the speed of the game as well as the story that the game itself tells. The alternating operating rounds and stock rounds will continue until one of three things triggers the end of the game. If there are no spaces left on the bonus track here. Every time a delivery is made to one of these destinations, that delivery cube will end up on this bonus track. Once that is full, that will trigger the end of the game. We will finish the operating round, and then we'll go into final scoring, if you will. 
or if a railroad's company share value reaches 80. So if one of them makes it there, congratulations. Ah, this is going to be usually how the game ends. And lastly, if all three companies' cubes have all been uh, exhausted, all of their supplies, meaning all of their cubes are out here on the board, that also will trigger the end of the game. All right. So that's basically an overview of how the game works. But now let's go into the details. Okay. So there's an auction round, as I mentioned. After that, there will be a set of operating rounds in which each company will operate. And it's actually laid out right here what will happen. There will be a minimum one delivery, if possible, possibly more. Then that company will build track. Then it will have to decide whether to pay dividends or withhold. We'll do that for the Sioux, the CNW, and the DOSA. Then after that, we will go into a stock round. Again, all this is laid out here. The stock round is then buying stock or passing and then moving back into an operating round, okay? So we'll start off by talking about the initial auction. The initial auction is going to start with whoever has the priority deal. The minimum bid is $5. It will start with the top company, the company being the private company or the railroad, whichever one is on the top, minimum bid being $5. At that point, it is a once around auction, meaning whoever has the priority deal, then here, then there, then there, then there. You either up the bid or pass. Once you pass, you're out. So if I start the bid at five, it's incremental in dollar or however many jumps, everyone starts with 25 bucks. So if I start the bidding at five, Jess says eight, Alan says 12, Martin passes, and it comes to Andrew, Andrew says 15. I now have a decision as the priority deal uh, maker. I can either, or priority deal holder, I can either allow Andrew to pay his 15 to purchase that company, or I can match it stealing that bid, paying $15, and then taking the company for myself. If I so do, all of the private companies, so all of the mines and the lumber companies, will pay their money to the CNW's coffers, as you can see here. If I stole that from Andrew, he becomes the priority deal. Whoever the last one to have it uh, outbid or stolen from him, I will take the mine itself. It's a terrible thing to waste. I now own that. Boom, then we go into an auction for the next company, be it one of the railroad companies, presidencies, or the minor company. Starting with the priority deal, minimum bid five. If for whatever reason, Andrew does not have $5, he is allowed to bid less up to what he has. If he only has three bucks, starting bid, maybe $3. However, he cannot use the priority deal to then steal that company from the highest bidder provided nobody, if he bid a dollar, the highest bid were three, he couldn't use the priority deal to steal it. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get to a railroad company, you're getting one share of that railroad company. So a few things are going to happen if that happens. All, whatever the bid is, is going into the company coffers and the company or the bank, which is off screen, will then match the bid for that company and put it into the company coffers. So if the bid, the winning bid for the CNW was 15, whoever it was would pay the 15 to the company coffers. The bank would match that with $15 from the company coffers there. And then all that money would go into like so. Mm -hmm. And then again, if a player is outbid, the last player that was outbid gets the priority deal marker. Uh, yeah, and if nobody is outbid, then the priority deal would stay there, okay? Mm -hmm. And we do that for all of the companies. Any questions on that? Nope. nope. The nope. first of the uh, miners, or I'm sorry, the privates, will get one delivery cube. So you'll notice that the adventure mine has one, where the last one, the Quincy mine, will get three, and every other one that falls in between will get two, as you can see there. And again, the distribution of all of those is random. One other thing that I should point out, that when a company 
whatever the actual bid is, if it were at $15, it will be tracked here, the initial share value for up to that value, the one. If it were 16, it would go to the 16. If it were 12, 13, 14, or 15, it would go to the 12, et cetera, et cetera. And there we would go through all eight of the companies. Any questions on the initial auction? Nope. 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 The rules do state that at no point should you allow one player to get three privates. Trust me when I say it tells the truth. Don't let that happen. Because if so, concede the game to that player, congrats, and start over. In addition to that, it says, it suggests that no player should have two privates whose payouts exceed $13. The payouts are between five and nine dollars. So nobody should have, say, the nine and the seven. It gives them a huge benefit, is basically what the rules say, all right? So there you go. Any questions? That's the initial auction. We keep going around, starting with the priority deal until eight, all eight companies are out. Easy enough. So now let's go ahead and move into operations. So it starts out with the delivery. I'm gonna double back to that after we talk about building track, mm -hmm. okay? So building track is very simple. A company has whatever it has in its company coffers in which to build track. Now, here in our example, the CNW has $45. The cost of building is as shown here. All mountains cost $20 to lay a track, a track being one cube. Everything else, and I do mean everything else, costs $10, whether it's a easy or a rural hex, a city hex, or a destination hex, all cost $10. So as you can see here, all these star spaces are where red track starts. So red starts on all of those. It can then branch out from any of its track there to go and build. It can build anywhere between zero and however many cubes it has up to what it's portfolio or its coffers can afford. So in this case, maybe they choose to build, say, $20 worth of track. That would be 10. That would be 20. The 20 would go into the bank and that would be the track build for the CNW. Okay. But let's indulge and let's say it had spent $40 to do so like there. So there, it built its track, et cetera, et cetera. Then it goes into dividends. To be able to pay out a dividend, a company must have built at least one track. So if it chose to build no track, it cannot pay a dividend. But I did build track as the president of the CNW. I would have the share in front of me. Then I choose to pay dividends. If I choose to pay dividends, every shareholder would get wherever the dividend marker is. Now, when I built this track, I should also point out that every time you build track into a city, its dividend, its income will go up one. If it builds into a destination, it will go up two. But as it is, I built into two cities, so my income would move up two jumps. So if I choose to pay dividends, that money comes from the bank, not from the company coffers. For every share anybody owns, $4. Shares in the company do not pay to the company. They just, it's only to shareholders. So it'd be $4 a piece on that. Any questions there? Nope. 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 If I choose not to pay any dividends, I can do so as the president. What happens then? Add a zero to whatever that number is and the company gets that amount of money into the company coffers from the bank. For being $40, we would get 40 bucks into the company coffers as such. But then the bad news happens. For every share issued or sold, and there are a total of five CNWs, but only one would have been sold to begin with, I would have that, the company value or the stock value would decrease one per share owned by players. But let's indulge and let's say three of the shares had been owned. It started here, it would drop one, two, three drops because I chose to not pay dividends. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. All right. <laughs> now, when we double back and it becomes the next operating round and the CNW can operate, then we go into deliveries, which deliveries again happen first at the beginning of a company's operating round. If a company has a cube in a city 
that shows that it is the home of one of the private companies and it has a cube in a destination city it may make a delivery and i will say that it must make one delivery if possible if it were built out as such to where it were something along the lines of like so and like so you'll notice that we actually have the ability of to make two deliveries now we have two starting cities or two starting locations for private companies and we have two separate destinations i can then make two deliveries if i wish one for this company one for this company going to their respective destinations does not matter which is which it's not tracked anywhere but to be able to make two deliveries two different companies a minimum of two different destinations but i am only obligated to make one delivery but let's say I make the one delivery to the Jackson Mine, that will come over here. The Jackson Mine, you'll see, shows a value of $5. Whoever owns that private will get $5 from the bank. So in this case, let's say it were Martin, he would get $5 from the bank. Then the company itself will get $5 to it for making the delivery. Let's say it's another later turn and it's the beginning of the round makes another delivery for the Jackson Mine. Same thing would happen, $5 for Martin, five for the company, but you'll notice that's the last delivery for that company. By doing so, that company now will close. But on its way out the door, it's going to pay a bonus dividend to the owner of that company, which is the furthest left visible value. So if let's say that had already been there and the Jackson Mine just delivered, it would be $10 to the owner of the Jackson Mine, which in this case would be Martin, he would get 10 bucks. Then the Jackson Mine would then flip over and be removed from the game, never to have another delivery and never to pay another dividend to the shareholder or to the company owner. One other thing I, I failed to mention, I apologize, at the beginning of every operating round, pay the privates. Just like an 18XX, forget that every time. <laughs> Pay the privates, meaning whatever that value is, all the owner of the privates get that amount of money. I, I apologize, I overlooked that. But that's how a delivery works. Now it is possible, and let's talk one more thing about building track, which is leasing track in, and where you're allowed to build track. Companies can build, multiple companies can be in cities, and destination cities, but only one company can be in a rural or a mountain hex. So what does that mean? The yellow company, the DOSA here, cannot build into that hex because that is an easy or a rural hex. They could build there and then build into Gwyn if they so desired. But in lieu of that, they can lease track. So let's talk about leasing track. Leasing track says, and there is some amount of money, I assume, in the DOSA, they want to build all the way into Iron Mountain. To do so, they want to lease a little bit of track. So instead of building here and costing themselves $10, they choose to lease this track to be able to give them access to the city. So they lease this track for half the value of whatever that track would normally cost. So it would normally cost $10 to build that, Instead, it costs five. They take $5 from their coffers, pay that into the company they're leasing from, and then they can continue building. Then they would pay $10 and move into Gwyn. And then at that point, they then can continue building track, $10, $10, and finally $10 for a total of $30 back into the bank <coughs> like so. So they leased that one track. They could lease this one to get down into Escanaba if they wished, and they could further lease other track. In fact, what they could do, which might not be smart, but conceivably what they could do, is they could lease this track, build into Gwyn, lease this track paying another $5 and go into Escanaba. Then they could lease this, 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 and make it, and so they would pay five, 10, 15, and then another 10 to the bank to get down here, then they could then lease five, 10, 15, and another 10 to the bank to then build in there. And they might do so to reserve some cubes 
and to give themselves a little bit of more flexibility. Costs a lot more money to go that route, but I'm just showing as an example what they could do. Does that make sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. When it comes to deliveries, if, let's work it out one more example. Let's say it were like this. Red, on their turn, after we've paid the privates, wants to do a delivery and chooses to do a delivery from the Van Winkle and Montague Lumber all the way to Iron Mountain, for what, or all the way down, oh yeah, to Iron Mountain, let's say, for whatever reason, that example, just indulge me. Here, this would go over, it would close, they would get the payouts just like normal, and the value would jump up for making the delivery like normal. But because they use lease track or track that is owned by another company, both companies values will go up for the delivery. However, the payouts would only go to the red company because they're the ones actually making the delivery as well as the private company that actually made the delivery. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so that is uh, building track, leasing track, paying dividends or not. Any questions on operating rounds? Mm -hmm. Nope. Going into a stock round, very simple. You can buy one share of stock based on whatever the value is of the stock. You pay into the bank, the company, or the bank does, or you pay into the company, the bank does not match. And for every share sold, the value goes up one. Or instead, and it is a once around uh, action starting with a priority deal, or you can pass. When you pass, you get $5 from the bank, and if you were the first player to pass, you also get the priority deal marker. After everyone has taken one action, we go into an operating round and you pay the privates and do it all over again until either this bonus track is filled up, a company reaches 80, or all of the cubes are used up. At that point, Everyone sells their shares back to the bank for whatever the share value is per share, plus any cash they have on hand, whoever has the most money wins. Important reminder, if you don't pay dividends, your share value will go down one per share that is owned by players. Good luck and Godspeed. <laughs> <laughs> any questions? No. No. All right. And the other thing I didn't make an example of a route, a, a good has to go the shortest delivery possible. Okay, so in other words, it could not come down this way and go there to completely remove yellow from getting a, the uh, piggybacking on the delivery. It could not go this way. It would have to go the shortest route, which would include the yellow cubes in that regard. That's the edge case. But other than that, let's get started. You already good. All right, let's <laughs> reset up the board. I'll take care of chat and we'll get started. All right. All right, cool. There we go. <laughs> Dimitri, pay the privates always. Yes, I know. I forget Denver. every time. Denver. Oh, Tony's oh don't forget. worry, we won't forget. Tony says I have to prove that I'm actually here. Uh, hold on a moment. <laughs> there you go. There, there, there you go. go. There, there is proof. Right. There. All right, so everybody starts with 25 bucks. Make sure I'm not getting too much extra. I probably shouldn't start with the adventure mind. Probably not. There. There That's the uh, extra that was used for the example. This is. Oh, I'm missing oh, money. Where did yours go? <laughs> he stole my money. I watched. <laughs> right, yeah. I watched. All right. Oh, I still just as much. I was like, no, you can't have it back. All right. That's the go. extra. When you buy the share, the price goes up, but you're always paying the current price. Correct. All right. So, um, uh, Greg, you are very useful here. Okay. You have Schwazi. <laughs> <laughs> Using me? Yeah, yeah. totally. This is why you're invited. Too, this is it. This is your thing. <laughs> Bring out the schwazi. I should have mentioned that I have it too, should I? <laughs> oh, you do too? All right. But hey, it makes Greg really? feel useful. Here we go. Again? All right. I almost, All right. I almost put a finger in. All right. Fine with that. Right. So, Andrew starts the initial auction. There we go. Um, we'll move that down. There we go. So the auction starts with the adventure mine. The adventure mine is over. Oh, there's one other little other thing. It is really hard to see, but there is a yellow line starting in this hex, going to this hex, going to this hex, and going to this hex. Nothing can build 
in there except for the yellow company. When the yellow company builds in any four of those hexes, it immediately for free populates the other hexes if it wishes to do so. So all four of those hexes cost $10 total for the yellow company and they are locked for the yellow company only. There we go. 20 hi 20. Eric, hi Eric, and hi Eric. Okay, That's so like welcome. Over under on Glory to Realms, we're gonna set that at four and a half and place your bets. There you go. Cool. All right, okay. Andrew, you start the auction. Everybody starts at 25 bucks, ready, go. Uh, okay, well, we will go with the minimum of five on the adventure mine. Huh. Uh, I'll go... I'll, uh. <laughs> <laughs> we are five players, so... There's, I'll go yeah. ten. That means there's a lot of money in here, yeah. An important element of five players that everyone should get one private. Right. Ideally. No, I will go nine, final answer. Nine dollars. Down he goes. Um... And while Jess thinks there are a total of eight or nine of the Sioux Line companies, five CNWs, and five Pass. Dosas, but there are one each over there of those. And you went nine? I yes. went nine, yes, sir. Alan is the disembodied voice. Eric Eric is voting for a team. Uh, disembodied, disembodied voice. voice. Bit, uh, <laughs> 11. I will pass. Hmm. Hi, Robert. Oh, Jack and Matt are here, too. Hi, guys. 11. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. There you go. There you go. <laughs> But they said hi. I was trying to remember. So it's 11. So Alan either takes it for 11 or Andrew can steal. If Andrew doesn't steal, uh, Jess was the last. You passed, right? I passed. So yeah. I would get the priority deal because I was the last one to be outbid in that case. Yeah. So the priority deal is leaving Andrew one way or the other. Uh-huh. Um, 11... I'll, uh, you can have it for 11. So 11, and that goes to the CNW, because yes, the I get the priority okay. deal, and I begin on the CNW, which has been the poison pill in every game that we have played. <laughs> <laughs> it is really hard to not be over-aggressive with the CNW, because yes. it gets so much money mm -hmm. and an influx at the beginning, because all the privates are paid into it. Yes. But it has fewer cubes, <laughs> which is easy to forget. I definitely did. <laughs> I'm going to go six bucks, which means it's actually going to get a total of 12. And I have the priority deal, so I can be outbid and I can always steal. So six bucks for the CNW. Mm -hmm. Pass. <laughs> and remember, only three of us are going to run companies. Uh huh. And presidencies change only when another player has more shares. You just give them the one with the star for mm -hmm. one of the regular shares. Pass. Hey, Ryan, how are you doing? Seven. Mm, eight. <laughs> it was a good bid. I'm having him think. That's what I initially was going to start it at, so I guess I feel good about it. So all right, eight it is. So I'll pay eight bucks <clears throat> to the company. So that's uh, what sixteen bucks it comes in mm -hmm. and from me it. and the bank yes. total. So we'll go there, and when it's all said and done, we'll go over how much each company has because top-down camera, etc. So I am the president of CNW. Uh, I stole it from Andrew. Here we go, Van Winkle. Van Winkle. All right, I like lumber. Two cubes, six dollars it pays for a private. Yeah, I'll go five on that. Five whole dollars? Five, five. whole dollars. <laughs> um, I like being outbid. Uh, and the fact that these two were the last two, which are... <laughs> hmm. yeah. uh, a lot of cubes. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll go six. I'm willing to go six, and if I get stuck with it, I'm okay with it. What sucks is when Van Gitt Winkles first and only has one cube. That gets tricky because it's right here, close to the companies. Mm. 
as is the Jackson yeah, Mine. Yeah, Red doesn't have much to do to get over there and deliver. I have no chance of winning this at six, but I have a chance of being the only one outbid, so I'll take it. No, that was clever of you, but I wanted you to pass. Um, I like six, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like seven as much. Mm. And we're still learning uh, oh, yeah. value on all of these oh, my things. God, yes. None of us have a clue. <laughs> nope. So I'm curious, since Tom's here, and I'm not asking you to influence this, but I'm curious, Tom, what kind of bids have you seen for the various companies, depending on number of cubes, where they end up in all this? And we're also trying to figure out how to make the Sioux profitable. <laughs> how to make it work. <laughs> a viable investment. We have yet to figure that out. It was this close. <laughs> this Seven. close. Hey, Dan. Welcome. Hmm. Huh. Hi, Jack. Hi, Robert. Oh, 14 hour shift. Well, hopefully you get to chill. Would you go seven? Yeah. So ignore me in this island. But I also feel like there's a little bit of poker here. Like we're trying to be like, oh, no, I don't want it. I don't. I Eight. would never. I would have been happy <laughs> taking it for six. Because <laughs> it's going to pay at least uh, $18. That's the thing, right? Like. Ooh. Current bid is six, is eight. Sorry, by Alan. Sure. You're gonna really let him get two. Eight is not bad. I'm gonna listen that. to that kind of talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. I pass so that you could take it for eight. Because Matt says I've seen <laughs> way we too much. We just want you to do. It's fine. <laughs> do it. You so. Why say no when it feels so good? I mean, it seems all right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're going to take for eight. Okay. okay, so eight into the CNW. Yep, so that goes there, and Alan takes this. Takes the kitty. And now the dosa, starting with Alan. Five. Five. <laughs> that was a definitive five. Right? I don't know why you wouldn't start with it that. It seems like you would. Just start time. with that, let it yeah. go. At least for the privates. Right. Yeah. I think and the locals said it's actually Dissa, but... Dissa? Uh, yeah. Is that it? Dissa? They, didn't, okay. they weren't I, definitive. They just I said might that's say what they Dossa because it. that has a particular meaning in British. Okay. Um, I'm going to pass. <laughs> I mean, Dossa. Duluth, it could be Dussa, right? Yeah. Dessa. Dessa. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Could be it. All right. Dessa. Dessa. I think it's Dessa. Mm. The thing is, that that company has been good <laughs> every time we've played this game. All twice. I All twice. Know. All twice. <laughs> that's, that's a pattern. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Yeah, I definitely didn't mind it. Right, we left with nine, if I get eight. Uh, I'm not going to get anything for nine. Um. Okay. And Tom says, all over the map for bids, the yeah. suit can be strong if it ran well because people are likely to buy into it because there's a bunch of shares. That makes sense. But it needs help from red or yellow. Helps if you own or invest it oh. in both companies. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. And that's what we saw. Yeah. I had two and you then want you took symbiotic. it for me and yeah. you took two and that yeah. works. You know what? We're going to try something. I'm going to bid 16. <laughs> Woo. Wow. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I elect to not take part in this auction. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. You said that as if you couldn't have. No, I, I said I choose not to. I have 17. I know, but I could. that's the way you always say it. Still pulling you... levers here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Thing to do. Pass. You going to do your 16? I can't give me as much that. All right. Oh, you can't? No. Yeah. So, so 16, 16 goes then, into there. I think it's part of 16. So I keep priority, is that right? Uh, yeah, because you were the last one up bed. <laughs> okay, so now we go Jackson Mine, which is. Right here, two cubes pays five dollars for its private. Five bucks. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> I like the comments. All right, wait, what? Seven. Okay. Uh, I like to pass. <laughs> you would like to pass. A moment. I shall point out that part of the reason I bid seven was that would leave me with 18, which is more than Edward has, more than Alan has, and certainly more than <laughs> Andrew has. Yeah, Andrew's done. So that yeah. gives me I got my private. a lot of flexibility, <laughs> even should I win it. Not a bad plan. So, so Jess and Martin have the, the, the strongest <clears throat> position right now. 
at least for the rest of right. the yeah for the bidding. auction for the auction yes and you bid seven doesn't mean we're doing the right thing <laughs> <laughs> exactly there are options i will go eight and i'm okay uh, <laughs> oh boy wait no i can't do that hold on <laughs> I hate my position right now. <laughs> so talk Glory to Rome, Martin. Glory to Rome, Martin. Already. First G, go why? over to Rome. Yeah, why? Yeah, here's why. why. Here's yeah. why. Because why? <clears throat> if, I, if I don't bid strong on this, okay, if I bid strong, Jess is going to pass because she wants one of the two lucrative mines that are up there and they pay out more than the Jackson mine plus their position to hang around longer. So it makes sense for her not to take that. However, if I bid too weak, then Alan can come in and get himself $13 worth of income, and then I'm in a really bad position because both of them have $25 to be able to take those two, which means I would not have a private and I'd pretty much be out of the game. But I can't spend $14, because that seems crazy. <laughs> Full stop. It's crazy enough to work. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't crazy. And you only bid... We don't know that yet. How much did you bid, I forget, for the uh, lumber company? Eight. And you bid how much for the adventure mine? Eleven. Just Eleven. And really, would I really? Oh God! <laughs> oh, this is so terrible. You can match fourteen, so you got to bid fifteen if you're gonna. No, but he bleed him too. Yeah, but bleeding. But I'm I'm priority. still in a screwed and I'm still in a screwed position because if either of you bid eighteen on this and then eighteen on that, I I'm out of a. You I'm already in a were terrible. No, no, position. that you already were, but you could get at least priority. Yes, we could boost you, but. On both potentially. I, I, mistakes have been made so bad. I know that dollar's <laughs> killing you, but. Mm. Ah. So take this one. I have to. 15. No one's going to outbid me. Pass. <laughs> okay. oh, that is horrible. <laughs> wow, that is a crappy position for a crappy mind. <laughs> right, but there are bonuses too. So when that gets blown, yeah, I know. You're still going to get blown. Oh, oh, right. Terrible. Right. That's right. something you can control when that pays out. Yeah. Some extent. Um, All right, this is you, you outbid Martin. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, move it over to the so to the side by oh, your money. Right by there you go. There you go. Oh, bid five. Bruno, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not saying I know what I'm doing. They <laughs> say it. All right, what was it? So I've five for the Sioux. Well, Bruno just said he doesn't either. He's never uh, I'm out. Andrew and I elect to not take part. <laughs> so he's the five, right? You said five. Mm -hmm. I have no choice but to say five. So that was an easy. Well, you do. No, no, you can. You say can. Five. You you could bid twenty five. In you anywhere can in between. Between. No, I, I have no sensible choice. Okay, there you go. That is the thing you can say. But you do have a choice. Just for clarity. What do you think? It's on you. Two. Oh, you have two. That's right. Um, hmm. yeah. I know what I think. I don't care what you think. <laughs> go, go, go ahead, Peter Gallery. Go ahead. I think if you let him take it for five, then he's got a stronger position. But if you call his bluff and try to pay him six even to make him pay six he will go for it right but i don't want the suit <laughs> <laughs> I like this, you know, I know. but apart from that nobody wants the suit. don't mm -mm. don't bluff him i have a theory about this nobody likes the suit you have a theory about the suit and he'll probably <laughs> let you know what it is after you bid <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, but i don't want him to get it for that you have money sure <laughs> But not as much as you. Don't pass. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pass All right, so what's your theory about the Sioux? Well, I, no, I, in terms of, I was trying to play it last night on its own, so it would actually do okay. And it, it I, I was one cube short. <laughs> <laughs> There's the theory about the Sioux. We know about, we know about what? <laughs> I've heard this story before. Yes, yes. we've heard this story before. So, oh boy, what'd you bid on that six? Five. Five? God. You're not, come on. Which means the company is only going to have 10 bucks. It is. It's going to be kind of a dog for That's a while. That's exactly Which why means it's not one, a good idea. One, you know. <laughs> I'm not putting nothing in it, no. <laughs> yeah, but okay. if he gets it, he can still have bid me. You can have bid me in the last two. So I'm thinking I should... Uh, or take a company really cheap. 
You can, hey, yeah, you could invest a bunch and make uh -huh. it a well-run company. You could. Out there on its own. Yeah. yeah. Slowly yeah. building These are things that could happen. They are things that can happen. <laughs> <laughs> they are unlikely. You can prove to us <laughs> that you can work. It's a long way. Make the suit work. It's a long way from wherever that is. That's okay. You don't it's cool. We'll cross right. You're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Yeah, we'll make it work, man. <laughs> and Brian, That's it did get. That's a city already. It you did get the money match. The cities you can go through, they bump up. This bumps up two if you get down here. Wow. <laughs> Glad to hear it. We'll be playing. Pass. <laughs> well done. You passed? I yeah. Did. I'm the proud owner of the Sioux. You you enjoy. Sure are. Five bucks, sir. <laughs> Five bucks. Part at four. Cool. <laughs> All right, then. Um, and I wasn't that bid, so we'll have you, a certain product keep cat. it. You keep I it? I keep the product you do. You, do. you do. Oh. Yeah. All right. So next up is the Copperfell's Mine. I right. bid five. I pass. That's actually quite a nice position to be in. It's probably it is a good on this. position I pass. to be in. Darn it. It's a very nice position um, to be in. I'm very happy with this position, actually. It's copper's way up there. It was doubled. It was 16. It was doubled. I did not bid 32 on that. <laughs> The question is, which one do you want, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> I know which one I want. Because <laughs> you're going to get yeah, whichever you one you want, and it. you're not going to get the other one. <laughs> the other one. one. Yeah, that's, I, I mean, I'm just looking for the ability and to he's get He's right out of it. <laughs> but I'm not getting both. So, darn it. I want both. You can't Fine. You're going to avoid the trap again, Edward. <laughs> Lessons have been learned. Lessons have yeah. been learned. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, yeah, it's those the bonuses. The fact, so what I'm contemplating is Quincy's closer. It has three cubes, but the potential to get a higher bonus is higher, um, depending on deliveries that maybe wow, we so say kind of desert so makes. What about planning? I can't do that. And then Copper Falls, Copper Falls up there is is harder to get to, but it's enticing because it has those cities to go through which bump you. So, and it's nine. Fine, I guess that's the one. I'm not, I'm intentionally not looking at the peanut gallery. That's the one I'll go for. But you could take it and then I know, ooh, that's which one do you want? <laughs> so I could bid. <laughs> so I could bid twenty. <laughs> give you the option to take it, which gives you zero, which means I could get the last one for fifteen. Fourteen, because I'll have priority if you outbid me. <laughs> which is interesting. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I got stuck. When with that. I put myself in a position. That was terrible. That was interesting, though. That's tough. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 20. Yeah, can't match that. Ah, so she's playing the do I use all my money up to grab it for 20, or do I let her take it for 20 and then take Quincy Mine for 15? Hmm. Remember again, 14. Because you'd have priority, to oh, right, just so have to match. It's a buck. I'm not really that bothered about a buck. Um, well, I'm going to get two dollars more per operating round out of the, of the copper fells for an extra five. So yeah, I'll take it for the twenty. Okey doke. All right. So I, I appreciate it because the twenty now comes into the C and W. Yes, it does. Very nice. Yeah. There we go. And after all, uh, I think five. I'll, I think I'll make good on that. Um, <laughs> 14. 14 and 14. You got off 14 in the hope that she would have some kind of <laughs> mental breakdown yeah. and give it to you. No, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Alan takes the, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, there you go. Alan takes the priority deal. Um, all right, so here's where we start after the initial auction the Sue starts with 10 bucks and eight shares. The CNW has 84 and four shares, and uh, four dollars for the Sioux at the initial uh, stock value. The uh, the CNW is at eight. 
32 for Dosa, because that's what I've been calling it for at 16. I have two bucks, the CNW and the Jackson. Go for it. What do you have? Oh, I have 11 and the Quincy Mine. And I have 14 and the Adventure Mine. I have absolutely nothing and the Copper Falls Mine. <laughs> And president, and, and, and president of the soup. Sorry, that was included on the absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Oh, poor uh, soup. I got the Tadosa, uh, the Van Winkle and Montague Lumber, and a buck. All right. So priority deal starts with uh, Alan, and we begin with uh, operations. Operation. Pay privates. the privates. Yes. So. Eight, all right. Please. All right. Take seven. So I, I hold on. We're gonna do this. We are. Take a bank over there sure. for you guys, and I'll take care of you, you Jess. There you go, I got, I got Jess here, over down. here. Seven, there. Thank you. And here, some tens over there for you guys. Yay. Okay, all the privates have been paid. There we go. So now we start with the Sioux. So, President Sioux. President of the Sioux, well, I'm gonna spend everything I've got to build one cube. <laughs> so that pays to the bank. Okay, so no delivery. That's the build. You did build, so you can pay dividends. Dividends would be two dollars, meaning you would pay yourself two bucks or I will withhold. All right. Withholding adds a zero, which means twenty bucks go from the bank to the company coffers, and there's one share out. It drops one. Boom, done. Operations of the Sioux is complete. CNW now operates, cannot do a delivery yet. Uh, we'll go ahead and spend 30 bucks. Here we go. Spending too much money again. There's 30. One, two, three. Oh, why you gotta be like that? That's all the building. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a glory to Rome? You built a good company. Uh, glory to Rome, Ed. <laughs> You couldn't see that one coming? Mm. <laughs> that is the move of a CNW. Uh, it just seems so, like so many cubes to spend. <laughs> it is a lot of cubes because there's only that many. Yes. Uh, so there's 30 bucks. Um, so it's a nice little hook for this hold on. time. <laughs> huh. Mm. The question is, do I build one or two more? No, I'm good. No, stop. No. <laughs> you run the temptation into this is before. so strong. There's, uh, look how many cubes do you have. Left. Well, I think you should be aggressive. Build like, away. Build small. Make the map red. <laughs> Spend them all. Help us soon. <laughs> Finish the game quickly. You know still. what? One thing I will do. I will build one more. Actually, just one. Are you gonna bump it now? Yeah. Forty bucks comes mm -hmm. back. Yeah. One's going to build into there. The share value goes up one. Income, income value goes up one. Sorry, yes. income goes up one. Then we're going to withhold. Okay. Because that's going to get another 40 mm -hmm. bucks into idea. the company. Yeah, that, well that's a good and idea. the share value drops one. One, because there's only one share up. Exactly. What? So, and that is the operation of the CNW. Dosa, you're up. No, I didn't have to build. To get to the sewer, I could have just right. not built. But I do actually want to build at some point, <laughs> somewhere. I'm not going to sit in Sault Ste. Marie for the entire game. That's actually a conversation we had: was build now, don't build now. Right. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting strategy to try for the sewer line, I guess. Just spend yes. the entire game. Build up, <laughs> then build, then. No, no, no. All right. So what's it, okay. President Andrew? Yes. So we can't do any deliveries. Uh, I think we're going to slow roll this. So we'll just pay ten to build here. I love how conservative we are now. <laughs> this was not the first oh, games. The first games Now are I'm like, going to hey. make him come to me, because if he's screwing on my private, he has to <laughs> so, he can keep building. So you built, so you can pay dividends if uh, you wish. And I will, so I will get $3 from oh, that. Interesting, okay. All right, so that is all the operating. That's the first operating round. So we go into a stock round, starting with priority deal. So Alan, you can pass. Here, we're gonna do this. Priority deal and $5 if you pass or buy a share for face value. And where's it go value. if you pass? Uh, it, it, it goes to the Here. first person to pass. Awesome. 16, four, or three, respectively. I'll, I'll buy a... a 
whatever we're calling the DSSA. Okay, for 16? 16, yes. Wow. All right. I guess, here, I'll take it from here. So you recognize value? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Probably spent too much. There we go. So 16 to the company, and the share value bumped up, as you saw. Martin, yep. you're up. So I'm faced here with an interesting choice. I can't afford the Dusser. It's way too rich for my blood. But I can afford the Sue and the CEOA. The Sue value stock, I think, is going to be a bit lower <laughs> in the future rounds. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, my mm. totally unbiased opinion. So I could hold off on that, or I could stock up a little, because I'm confident, actually, that Sue is going to finish the game at more than $3. No, oh, it would take great incompetence to bring it down to $1 about the end of the game. The question... <laughs> It may have gone poorly. <laughs> three already. Sorry, I couldn't resist that. It was just too easy to do. Someone and might have been a dollar shot. <laughs> the question is uh, Is Edward sufficiently incompetent a runner of a railway <laughs> that he'll actually finish up at less than $4? <laughs> It's a tricky choice. The peanut gallery is going to be with me on this. Can Edward actually run the company properly? I believe he can. I have my faith in wow. Edward. Darn it. Okay. I wanted to eat. Mm. Huh. That's ticked off everybody around the table now. <laughs> I'm, just wait I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. You should invest in the suit. Yeah, no, that sounds great. Uh, <laughs> Hey, that's interesting because I was I was having the same argument in my head if it was worth four dollars, but it's not worth eight dollars, so I will pass. Wow! <laughs> oh, here, and I get the priority. No, here you get this. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. There okay. you go. The bundle. Yes. All right. Now, if anybody passes, you get the five bucks, but that's it. I'll spend the three. So, there, three. Because I okay. well I can't afford my own. <laughs> <laughs> I could have passed, but oh, all right. so like now Jess, last last action of the auction <gasps> or of the stock round. Sorry. I'll take the CNW for eight, mm -hmm. which moves that up to twelve. All right, so a moment, and we'll do a calculation. So keep everybody informed. So what do we have here? We have 23 in the Sioux. We have 38 in the Dosa. And we have 96 in the CNW. All right, so we pay the privates. Operating round. Seven, please. I have no idea. Maybe somebody's no, breaking in. I have no idea. No, they're spice racks. It's all fine. Right there. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. So, uh, the Sioux operates. Go for it. Oh, yes, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> and I can build two bits of track this time around. Yay. I'm confident I can do that because I've got plenty of cubes. So, there we are. Um, actually, no, I'm only going to build one piece of track because... There's no point in me building and not too much. I'm going to go that way. Okay. Hmm. So you've built now, uh, so no delivery. You've built, a, uh, you can pay dividends, which, or you can withhold. I can withhold. Yes. There's 20 <laughs> back yep. into it. And it me. drops two now because there are two shares of mm -hmm. it out. Yep. It will come back above three in the end. Don't I, worry. I have faith because <laughs> you can't sell it. I'm in for the long haul. So the CNW now, um, well, first off, it will make a delivery. It must make a delivery. So the Van Winkle will down to here. It will get $5 from the company and five to the Van Winkle president. Six. Check that, six respectively. Mm -hmm. There we go. No bonus yet because it has not closed. Um, Hmm. I really want to build four. 
<laughs> but that only leaves five cubes. <laughs> oh, that's how Tate's buying those shares. Oh, Ooh, is he going to go for it? <laughs> is he going to go for it? Two shares. Or two, uh, two builds. One, two. Okay, bump up. Okay. Yep. A moments. Mm -hmm. Four, eight, thirteen. Tom, I know what I would do in Edward's situation, but I don't want to spoil it. It's a Let's high just risk say it's maneuver. a high risk maneuver. Fill <laughs> <laughs> yeah. us at usually, the end. I know. That's usually what you go for, so you may find it. Hmm. No, I'm wondering what this I is. I know. I'm <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's count. If it's seven cubes left, Uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. One, two, three, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not yeah, reading. It. I'm not reading it. It's over. He said you played it safe, so don't worry on it at all. Sounds so disappointed. I mean, the other idea was to build three here, right, to get it two more bumps, which would put it at five. But the problem is, I only have four cubes. Well, another one that I'd considered was to build these three, which would mean that yellow would be forced to use your track whenever it does a delivery. I don't know that it's going to get any deliveries. Yellow? Yeah, oh, at least thanks. there. The Jackson Mine, which is my own, very well might close beforehand if I were to do that. Um, no, but if he does, pays you. Because otherwise he can just nip down here. Right. But you could get in his way. So he has to lease. All right, what the hell? We'll do two more. You guys have talked me into it. So uh, if he wants to go around and pay the more, he can. So we'll go two more. So that's 20 bucks. God, I, I told myself I wasn't going to do this with the CNW, yet here I am. Too tempting. Hmm. Okay. So that bumped up there. <clears throat> But now I'm tempted to... No! I only spent 90 on my first turn. <laughs> it's just so easy to do. It is. Oh. All that money it just burns a hole in your pockets. <laughs> I so mean, it does. saves him $15 to lease this. And to come into there. So... Yeah, yeah I'm good with that. Done. Yeah. So now the question is... Do I withhold to drop it down to four, or do I just say to hell with it? And I now, okay. So the I'm company has 60 bucks left in it, and I have five cubes. We're going to pay out $5 a share. I like this. Hmm. Five. I'll oh. take mine. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take mine. Actually, it would drop three. I forgot. Uh, there's three yep. shares out. Mm. So, yeah, no, nope, done. That's it. Well done. Okay. We'll see if that was a mistake or not. Pull levers, find out. Dosa, you're up. All right, still can't make a delivery. Um, hmm. Final decision. So I'm curious what it is, Tom. Yes, yeah, interesting. I could just head straight into the mountains, but I feel like... Hmm. Maybe I should just get the easy cities while I can. Uh, you know, we'll do a safe maneuver. We're just going to lease this cube and pay 10. So build one. Here's five for CMW. To lease there. To lease right. there. And then extra 10 to build into here. And so, so this will go up. Yep. Okay. And we will just pay dividends. Let's All right, four bucks. bucks a share. Clear. Five. Okay. All right. So we go into a stock round now, starting mm -hmm. with you, sir. Yeah, I'm going to buy some dosa. Oh, thank God. For 20. <laughs> I'll buy that for 12, because I couldn't afford it if you bought it. That'll go up. Mm -hmm. And that goes there. 
Mm-hmm. Loving that investment. <clears throat> <laughs> It'll be good for you, you just gotta uh-huh. have patience. Yeah, that didn't, yeah. Wasn't I a great uh, a company manager in the previous game? Exactly. I sat there and just to rake it in. in. Yeah, you I had an easy game of it I once did. I stole the company from you. <laughs> <laughs> So you'll keep C and W, right? I have to exceed you. Correct. Okay. So yeah, last I have two one. Shares here. I mean, it's gonna end up at more than sixteen. I think. Right. There's no way you can lose that at this point. Yeah. I I am permanent president. Yep. That's of... a good place to be in. Mm. I can't do the other. Oh, so interesting. Yeah, I'll do it. Darn. <laughs> yeah. And see, that's all the money the CNW is probably likely to see. And I'll take a sue for what, two bucks? Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cheap. Ah, forgot. You could, it'll be cheaper if you'd waited till next round. Though. I'll just yes. warn you of that right now. <laughs> I, can take, I can take two bucks and uh, I'll take one of those, thank you. And I'll spend three bucks, even though I know I could get it cheaper next round. Okay. So I can guarantee four. I'll get it cheaper next round. And so I know. So something. the prior deal passes to the management style. Uh, so no because <laughs> nobody passed, so that will come over here to me. It automatically moves if nobody passes. Oh, that um, should have gone into the Sioux, shouldn't it? The three box. I, oh, yes. I, I did no. it. I did okay. it. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. All right. So there's 104 in the CNW. Check that, 105. There we go, because math. There is 43 in the Dosa and 38 in the Sioux. Two Dosa shares and five remain of the Sioux. Pay the privates. Seven times. Ah. I actually did think about that. Um, it gives you a lot mm, more cubes. Yeah, if I I thought about buying the Sioux. If Andrew had bought the CNW, I was going to do that. So what he's saying is I would have built one, two, three, four, five, or something along those lines, and I would have only had one of the CNW. Actually, I would have only had one of the CNW. Yeah. Yeah. So I would have had two of the Sioux, which means I would have been president of the Sioux because I operated before Martin. Right. And if nobody else bought the other CNW, I would have built it over and then been able to lo- lease track for the Sioux to get into this side of the map. It's still risky, though. It is. Oh, yeah. It is. Well, you did say it was a high risk maneuver. Yeah. Right. Um, but because we haven't done that, so, uh, the Sioux operates first, sorry. Right. So, Sioux, Martin, you're up. I'm up. And it's going to spend um, 20, that's 25, isn't yep. it? Yep, got it. The two cubes. And I'm going in here because I think I prefer the double bump in uh, income the, okay. to the uh, single bump I would get there, even though that's kind of not the right way. I think I prefer it that way around. And yeah. I will withhold, of course. <laughs> 40 bucks. But it gets money into the company. Which means that's 50. There we go. Now the CNW. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, Gonna build at least one. Done. Mm-hmm. Hmm. CNW is going to pay out ten a share, or five a share. Sorry. I think I've uh, already five made more. my investment oh. on the uh, CNW. Oh, so it was a good bill, but at least in those terms. Yep. Take care, yeah. Rob. Okay. Uh, so that's the CNW Dosa. Yep. Uh, still can't make delivery. So no. Oh, back up! I forgot. The uh, oh right yeah the CNW should have made a delivery to begin with yes. so I have two choices I could take the Jackson mine or the Van Winkle and I mean 
Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> so there. So here we go. So it's going to pay six dollars to the company, six dollars to the owner, and it closes. And a five, five book. Yeah. And five dollar bonus. bonus for that. And say goodbye to the lumber company. <sighs> oh, did the privates pay? Yes. yes. Yep. They did. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'm pretty sure I paid privates. We did do yeah, the. Yeah, we all remember this. Oh wait, did yeah, I yeah. gave you the the ten. Or sorry, the seven. Yep. The ten yeah. was for yeah, the, the CW. Yeah, we yep. did. Because I'm gonna give myself. Because I gave right. myself. He paying you first, and then I paid me. Is it to my You got it. All right, so uh, that's the CNW Dosa. You're up. Yeah. You get all those cubes. Why not? Two. You don't have to make a delivery. <laughs> uh, right. Well, this is the thing. I don't know where. What is the good thing to do right now? I should probably set myself up further west. How much should I build? Quincy, Copper Falls. You have four builds you could do. You have 40 and change. Right. 43 in the company. Um, and the mountains are 20, so I could get to long, Lance, Lance, how do you pronounce that? Yep. Or I could go down to Fort 20, Mountain and make 30, 40. I could make three bumps in the destination, but then I'd be forced to deliver Edward's stuff. You don't terrible. need to do that. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be great. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. It still would be a stock bump on Dosa to do deliveries. It's only five bucks, but he gets the bonus if it closes. Uh. Well, he's going to get a bonus anyway. His question is, does he get it now or later? Yeah. Hmm. That's going to be at least a $10 bonus. Uh. All right. I want to make at least two jumps if I can. So... That would be 5, 15, 10, 20, 40. So I don't have that much. Mm. That would be a 30. Maybe that's the thing to do. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's pay 30, I think, to place three cubes down to Iron Mountain. Do you want it this way, or do you want it there? Uh, or it could technically go that way, too, if you I want to. I don't know if it matters, I guess, this way, just in case. Sure. So 30 bucks. So that's two jumps and income. And I will pay out. Are you sure? Yeah. Only has 10 bucks. Well, I think it's going to get more money some other way. <laughs> Five bucks. So I get ten. I tried to talk him into it because if so, it drops three, then I can afford to buy a share. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Mm -hmm. So Dosa, five bucks for Alan as well. It. Yep. You got it? Okay. D the, so we go into a stock round. <laughs> Point one buck oh. for the suit. That's what it'll be worth for a while. Mm. Or not. Doubling the value. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wait a minute. 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 Hold on. If I pass, keep I priority. keep the priority deal, right? Unless everybody passes. No, because I'm the first one to pass, so I would get the priority I deal, right? I think in the rules it says if everyone passes, it still moves. Uh, let's yes, see. If, if you passes, pass, you place. first gets... If no one passes or no shares are left to buy, it moves automatically, so I would get it. You know what? I'm not going to buy that. All right. I'm going to pass, keep the priority deal, and take the five bucks. Well, that's what I was Oh, you're right. Do. Okay. Interesting. Because mm. I'm a You are right, Seth. Short. Hey, Desmond. I'm getting what I want. Yeah. But I'll take it for a dollar. Okay. Andrew, I'll take one of yours. 24. All right. Thank you. So... 24, that goes into the company. Done. And yeah, Martin. Well, I could spend everything I've got and pick up some Dusser, the last Dusser share for 30. Is it going to be worth it? Well, he's not going to be very keen on withholding with all the shares out. He's got plenty of cubes. 
So I but think he has almost no money. Yep. Yeah, at some point he's going to have to. Well, he's going to get. Whoops. Uh -oh. <laughs> was it two uh -oh. bucks? Uh -oh. Hold restart, on. Restart. There, there <laughs> and there, I believe, and I think that was there. Yeah. Peanut yeah. gallery, just verify. Yep, that's yeah. right. You're fine. Yeah. So, yeah, he hasn't got much money in the company. He's going to get this lot, um, which will help. That's what he was help. planning on. Yep. And. Deliveries. And deliveries. So, I think he's probably. You don't have Probably faith in your own a, company? Oh, I have plenty of faith in my own company, but but I've got two shares. Nobody else can get up to two shares, so I've got. I, I've, it's either that or pass, basically. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take the bus. That didn't work out. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because I would have had exactly thirty-two dollars. The, or I would have had more than that, but I would have had enough to buy the dosa, that which is why I passed to take the priority. Didn't work out. I oh, tried, okay. but it didn't work out. You may choke up okay. enough. I wish. would have bought it if he didn't. <laughs> but like, yeah, oh, we, would, we would have priority, okay. so yeah. yeah. So someone would have gotten it for sure. Right, so Martin. Yeah. So back to you. Um, Pass or? Well, is now the time to buy it? Ugh. No, Jess bought soon. So yes, Jess bought the two, two, which is why it's at two now. It will be at one. Don't worry. <laughs> Mm. I bought it at one. I'm happy with this. Yeah. It's got a decent I guarantee it's going to be more than four by the end well, of the game. Well, I can't get worse than one. So <laughs> it's always going to be one. Exactly. Like I paid. Two seems so cheap. <laughs> I'll pay two. Oof, mistakes have been made. All right, so pay the privates. Gladly. Thank you. Sue operates. Sue has fifty-five. Looks like sixty-one dollars. Hmm. Two, three, six. It's not enough to reach two towns. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. No, but you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, which ties you into everything at that point. That would give me some flexibility. It does. Which is interesting. as an investor. Mm. I think that's better because then when you withhold and you have the money, you can then lease track to get out to other places as opposed to the short sighted for that. Yeah, there's something to be said for that. Uh, but what game are you playing? That's the question. The don't finish last game. <laughs> <laughs> mm. He's giving me advice. So I what, that what's the down. secret plan that, that he's got that he no will that, uh, would have No, I said um, I'm not going to. Oh. <laughs> that game I got the rest. No. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. I think. I can't see what how he's going. How that's going to not work. It's only six cubes. So. And the thing is, you you don't have to spend a whole lot of cubes otherwise to get to places. Right. Right, once you connect up to anybody, you can get anywhere pretty quickly. Right. Of course, that also allows him to connect up to me, although quite why he'd be so excited to go to Sault Ste. Marie, I have no idea. Um, Is so that I'm, nearly as lucrative? Because um, he's already got... Well, I'll give him a second what's it, but I don't think he needs more um, destinations. Yeah, I think I'm going to fall for your diabolical plot. <laughs> no, oh. it's, it's, I think it's legit. Wrong company. Okay. 60 bucks. So that bumps you up here. 55, 60. There we go. And I will withhold. All right, so tanks, 40 bucks go back into the bank or into the coffers, I mean. So there's 41 left in the company now, and that amount of cubes. So no delivery, dividends, the whole nine yards. All right. So now, I will say it's interesting, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40 bucks <laughs> for one cube to get two bumps. You could do the same there, of course. <laughs> True. Could do both. And it would be cheaper. But he puts money into Sue rather than that, which would be good, of course, for him. Right, he doesn't have an interest in putting money in Dosa. Yeah, yeah. I don't think. Yeah, but it would be better to. He put doesn't money have into to put it. money in Dosa to get up to deliveries, though. But I'm anticipating the Dosa getting up there, and then I'll be able to do so. See what I'm mm. saying? Or if he gives the but money to Sue, then Sue can do yeah. the same. 
Right, and the suit has more cubes. These two cities in. Hello. Yeah. So, 10, 20, <clears throat> 30. 10, 20, 30. And then 10 to get into St. Ignace, which that will go up to. So 30 goes into the Sioux. See, you think it's diabolical. I was actually oh. being a team player. Why? You gotta do a delivery first. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. Right. Thank you for, again, pay the privates and deliveries. So delivery here, this will go entirely on yep. red yep. to get to there. Mm-hmm. So that'll be five to me, five to the company. Mm-hmm. And red thumbs up. Yep. And... Another 25... So that'll be 15 into the Sioux to go into Salt St. Marie, which goes wow. up two. Why? Because I'm invested to try and help make more money. Yeah, but you're now putting the cubes. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good point. point. You're going to get, yeah, you're gonna get screwed over. That's, that's no way the game's going to last. You're a clock on yourself. Yeah, Finish up. That's a good point. You've got to really the clock. <laughs> <laughs> or it's not that short. I mean, as an investor. <laughs> yeah, all right. So we'll, we'll leave it there at do six. Yeah. And now we'll pay dividends. So 12 bucks to me. Done. Well, you got three? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I also have to make a delivery. So this comes yep. goes here. So All right. That so is I get five. five to me and yep. five to the dosa. Right. There. Then I get ten an bucks. additional ten bucks there, and the Jackson mine is out. Yep. And red and yellow both go up yep. because both their tracks were used. Uh, I think they're here. Go with it. That's fine. Okay. So how much is in there right now? Like 25. 50, 60, 72. 72. What can I do with 72? That costs 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That's 90. I do not have that. Hmm. You have 72 bucks in the company. Yeah. He said that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry you were no, counting. It's all right. You were counting as he was. Uh, Doing it. Mm. There you go. There you go. 60. And then we deliver later for 7. Which was that 19, which sucks. Hmm. Mm. You definitely can tell the lessons have been learned, and now we're a lot more <laughs> conservative. Uh, somewhat, I should say. Huh. This is also more tricky play with moving money around. Yeah. If I build that, I need 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. <laughs> <laughs> Financially or morally bankrupt, right? <laughs> One or the other. That's 19 left. The answer is yes. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's cheaper to get the Quincy Mine because of that nice Ten. green square, just in case you missed it. Yeah, no, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if I do that. And I don't get the payout bonus where we are right now. Yeah. Yep. I'm just trying to think ahead in terms of like not screwing over Dosa. In last game, I timed it. I thought so perfectly. I had one cube in the Van Winkle and had the CNW and made the delivery here and then realized, oh crap. There's no bonus. There's, There's no bonus. bonus. Yeah. I timed it one too late on purpose. Uh, so yeah. That's the 19, thing you miss. Yeah. 16, 23. So is this making sense for those that have been here the whole time? Oh, it's aggravating. Um, so what are you thinking? We are thinking. So I'm thinking I want to get more money in the company. The only way yes. to do that right now because all the shares are sold is to make deliveries. Yes. The easiest way to get deliveries right now is to get the Quincy Mine. Yep. Getting the Quincy Mine is going mm -hmm. to cost me uh, 60. No, because I got to lease this. So that's 10, 20, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, because of the lease. Right. Yep. That leaves 12 bucks in the company. 
I'm going to make a delivery next round. I'll have an extra 7, so it'll be 19, which is not enough to build on a mountain. So I can only build on a rural or city. But it is but possible, I will decent. say, the CNW or the Sioux might yes. lease track to yeah. be able to build into it. And somebody's going to buy you. Well, this is a. Uh, no, there's, there's no, no shares, shares left. Oh, there's no shares. That's, shares. that's the problem. Yeah. If there were shares left, I this would not be an issue. That. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, and so, right, I would need someone to lease. I don't think. Do you think he's going to, though? I think he's going to. He would lease like into here, maybe, but that's only ten bucks. Oh, I guarantee no, you, the CNW would love to deplete the, the Quincy mine. There's three. Because that will trigger the end of the game, mm -hmm. which needs to happen soon. <laughs> but because only a. However, so you go up there. He leases into the city. Yeah, that'll give me fifteen. Uh, which will keep me alive. The problem is I would need him to do that. I don't like being in a situation where I need him to do it. <laughs> well, you needed him to build tracks last time. Because he could build track. Because I could just build up to here and wait a turn and force him to build further in. But that but delays the game. Then you don't get early delivery, and then he gets the first delivery. You get the middle, he gets the last. You just lost a delivery doing that. I did, but I didn't put myself in a position where he can just not lease and I lose the share value completely. That's you my concern. really not, though. That's what I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a bite your nose to spite your face. I, yeah, I don't know. That could, <laughs> be that kind of could happen. Could happen. <laughs> could happen. <laughs> Uh, I just, all right, well, I'm not going to delay this anymore. We're just going to do it. We're going to build it. No, that was a good discussion. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. thoughts. So go for it. Do it. So it costs 60 out of here. Okay, so there's 60. So, so that's. 10 is leased for this mountain hex. Here, go for it. Oops. Uh, and then. So 10 comes to mm -hmm. the CNW. Then there's 20, 30, 40, and 50 spent to get all the way up here. Okay, so that goes up to. Two. Mm hmm. And that gets paid. Um, there right. You go. And then we are going to pay dividends. So that's six bucks a share. Yep. So. Top six. Okay. So we go into a stock round. Plenty of money. Not a lot to buy. No. <laughs> yeah. You have a choice. Well, now that it's built in. Sue, sue will sue. Okay, goes up to two. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, three. Yeah, here you go. Got gotcha. oh, yeah, you. Two, three, go and there. two there. There you go. And okay. so for three dollars. All right. Done. Five. Well, I guess I'm not oh, buying any more, but I will hold the presidency yeah. for the rest yeah, of the year. Yeah, you will. Right. Which is exciting. This is yours, along with five dollars. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, pay the privates. Yeah, because they pa they have to pass. Yeah. Correct. Easy. And move the priority deal over so folks can see oh, it if you want up top. There you go. All right. So pay the privates, which Andrew and I elect to not mm -hmm. anymore. We need some. Jess, you got every you guys got your private money. We got mm -hmm. data. All right. So the Sioux has sixty. Seventy-seven bucks. What's it gonna be? So, how eager am I to push the game to a finish? Are you winning? Are you going to continue winning? If the answer is no, These soon. Are good questions. That's the question. Well, I don't have as much money as Edward has, or later, as it were. Yeah. But on the other hand, I don't think I'm in a position. Some, you have some value, high value shares. I have some good value shares, and I'm making nine bucks every turn, which is more than anyone else is making every turn by a buck or two. I think Alan's winning right now. Yep. I think. Mm, two dozen. That's, and that's and how it ends. Depends on where the. Depends on. Um, <laughs> the dose holds the key to the game. It does. Yes, it, does. <laughs> it does. It does, and it has a lots and lots of cubes. <laughs> Don't let me down, Andrew. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> well, that's all I got. I think, <laughs> I think my best move is to be in a position where I can be threatening. So. I think that means lease one, two, three, that's 15. 25 puts in there. So okay, done. And then lease another five. Let me break this down, hold on. To go in here. So, 15, that go, sorry. To go so there. that'll go there. Okay, and then 10. So yeah. that leaves, there we go. Okay. 
And I think I'll leave it at that for the moment. All right, and what's the Sioux doing? It's actually going to pay dividends, is it? And let's have a look. How much room have we got? You've you got, got 37 bucks in there. 37 bucks. So three turns guaranteed. Yeah, I think I'll pay dividends this time around. All right, so five Eight. bucks a share for the Sioux. I'll take my oh, 10 five. bucks. Nice. That's right. Nice. Money paying off. Dividends paying off. <gasps> And he could not make a delivery, so he does not. The CNW cannot make a delivery because the Jackson Mine and Van Winkle are closed. So now I'm going to think out loud, and I think I know the decision already. Green. Oh, yeah. Um, Here. On what I should do. There is $92, check that, $96 in the CNW. If I do not lease track from the DOSA, the DOSA is going to drop five in value. One, two, three, four, five, because it cannot build. Well, it can build, it just can't build help in any way productively. Oh, that's that's a fair point. It can build, can it? Yeah. Shoot, I yeah. forgot about that minor detail. <laughs> it can do that once. Mm -hmm. But I think it behooves me to not do that. It can outweigh me, though, is the problem. So, yeah. once the Quincy mine closes, the game ends. But I have to negatively impact the Dosa to have a chance to win. You want that delivery, don't you? 35 to get that delivery. I, the money doesn't help me. The delivery does not help me at all. It improves your stock value. Yeah, it does help you. I don't understand. You oh, it moves shares. up yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. It does help That's you. That's how it helps but, you. But the problem is... It also you, moves up yellow. It also moves up yellow. See, this is what I was afraid of. <laughs> Where does it move up? Just because he... Because the delivery will track. also move up. Yellow. Yeah, because he has to use my track. track. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But I have money to burn. So I'm going to spend 25 bucks. 15 of which will go to the Sioux. That's good. To go there, which goes there. Okay. The last two I can save to go there and there for a delivery, because yellow's got to deliver one. Then the Sioux, in theory, will be able to lease to go up there, so all of the deliveries will get made in the second round. But it... <laughs> I don't... Uh, I don't think there's a way that the dosa goes down in value. Because like he said, he can move, he can build somewhere and just keep paying dividends until it ends. I don't I think I'm stuck. Cuz the longer the game goes, the worse it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> As an investor, I get to read this. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I think it's like we're kind of in a suicide pact where if you take me down, you're going down with me. So I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> don't Go ahead, be our guest. Yeah. <laughs> But if I don't, then it's yeah. Yeah. But if I don't, then I can't catch. Nope. Final decision done. We'll pay out seven dollars a share. Okay then. What is it? Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, I'm giving you a dollar. Oh, oh, give me ten back. Yes. There you go. Thanks. Um, Those has twelve bucks. Well, it's right. making a delivery. So this goes uh, and we'll pay out for seven. So, okay, so 
Yellow uses red mm -hmm. and yellow, right? Yep. So yellow and red both bump up. Okay, then seven dollars to Jess. Yep. And, and seven dollars to Dosa. To Dosa. Which okay. gives it nineteen. Yes. Which is not twenty. It's not twenty, which is annoying. Um, <laughs> so I throw the phone. Right. <laughs> Actually. So what can we do with that? That's useful. I don't know if we can do anything. Uh, bumping up one would be good. <sighs> okay, I have seven, nine, 14. Okay, it's gonna have 16, then it's gonna have 13. So I'm probably gonna, it's gonna have three track lanes. So I think the only. It's an important one right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. I think the only useful yeah. one. Yeah. Ugh. Will it, dare I say it's paid dividends? Didn't. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> I can get into one. I can't get into two. So I don't know if it oh. matters. I can. Mm, well, I have enough to do that. I'm gonna have that's a good one. nine. Okay. That's so I'm gonna have nineteen. So that's the bonus ten. So I'm getting so sixteen. Is that where you were pointing to? The bonus. And I the will important have one right here, which one are you Oh no. Thirteen. This mountain. Which is not up the least. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I don't think it matters. I don't think there's any useful thing I can do. We're renting I mean, it from useful, Phil Collins, but... Friday. <laughs> Alright. Well, on the off chance it matters, I will spend ten out of the bank to go down this way. Alright. Paying dividends, Paying I dividends. Six bucks a share, y'all. See, Jess, this is what I was afraid of. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Your fears have been realized. There you go. You get five bucks. You get five bucks. You get five bucks. You get five bucks. And the priority deal moves one clockwise. There's the stock round. Pay the privates. New operating round. Sue, you're up. Okay. Sue. Hmm. So, do I go after one of those Quincy Mine deliveries? They're both Please. likely to go. <laughs> if I go after it and Edward goes after it, then he won't go after it. Which I think is probably a good thing. There you go. There you go. Everybody can see your investments. Cool. That works. So, what would it cost me? It would cost me 10, 20, 30... 35, 45. Which you do have right there. But then that leaves me vulnerable. Should well, the next right, then just FYI, if you do that, then the game will end next round. And it'll end, it'll end as soon as it happens, so I won't be caught on the hook. No, 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 no. no. If we finish the operating, operating round, round right. however. The Sioux will deliver first of course, because it will get some the money. operating round. And I'll get some money from the delivery into the Sioux company anyway. So. Did I get the um, money yes. for Quincy delivery? So, yeah. So seven, you did. Oh, okay. yeah, you did. I just yeah. got it. So I'm definitely going to get, how much is it? It'll be enough to get me up to 10, which is what I need. Okay, so yeah, I think I will do that now. All right, so walk it through. So lease. Lease. So, so lease for 10. So yep. 10 goes here. Mm -hmm. Lease for 10 to, mm -hmm. to the evil one. Yeah. <laughs> buy for 10. Why am I the bad guy? <laughs> lease for 5 to the yellow one again. Okay. And then buy for 10. And that puts my cubes okay. in that position. So you bumped up two spaces. Yep. And I will declare a dividend because I'm such a good person. Mm. So everybody, so it's, what's wow. it? Six. Six a share. So 12. Uh, everybody who's bought my stock has now made money out of it. Yep. So I hope you're all pleased with me. <laughs> Loving it. All right, so no dividend for the CNW. The CNW will. Now it doesn't matter if I put money into yellow or not. But you know what we're going to do? 
keeps money from going in here doesn't matter. That I don't know. But building up there does help. Because we will operate one more time. Mm -hmm. But if I don't have a cube to build, I have to withhold. So we're going to go ahead and lease for 10 and build for 10 into there, which goes to there. I don't think it really matters. So we'll pay dividend. Seven. Yeah, seven bucks a share. Thank you. Okay. Um, All right, and now uh, the uh, yep, Beezlebub company <laughs> <laughs> oh. makes so a delivery. Has to make a delivery, so that goes there. So that's uh, seven bucks for Jess, seven bucks for the company. Yep. And so that puts me at forty-one. Thirty. Yes. So. That I think is good. Okay, so we're gonna spend 30 to go to uh, the adventure mine. So right, 30, 30, 30 comes forward. out. Okay, two cubes over here. And we are good. And this goes up one. Yes, it goes up one. And, and we are withholding? Uh, no. <laughs> 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 we are. Good right. choice. <laughs> so that's, right. I like the odds. You're like, uh, no. Oh, and um, I don't think that these points are six. Six. So share. yellow and red should have bumped up on the delivery. Yes. All right, so that's all. Now we go into stock round. Five, five, oh, you five. Do get the I do. Priority five. Yeah, it's annoying. Five. Priority passes. One thing I failed to mention whoever has the priority deal at the end of the game, it's worth one share of the lowest value company, which in this case is going to be the Sioux. Mm -hmm. And now the Sioux operates. Pay, uh, pay the privates. Pay the privates, yep. For a final time. And then. Seven. I got, I got Jess. Okay, you got Jess. Yep. There you right. go. All right. So, I must make a delivery. You must. And I bump up yellow and red in the process. Mm -hmm. Everybody moves everybody, up. Everybody, everybody moves, moves up. up. I make a delivery. Um, I'll make it to Sault Ste. Marie since you know, I can. Okay, so uh, it goes there. Goes there. So that was for the Quincy. Seven dollars to Jess. I got it. Seven to the company. And no bonus. Nope. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. because that's it. That will trigger the end of the. Scared that I thought it was the <laughs> slightest. <laughs> oh, that's gonna live up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Make that, that into a meme. Yeah. That's gonna be a gift by the end of the night. Uh, <laughs> He's scared of spiders. <laughs> I just like spiders. You. you are red in the you, beak. <laughs> you're, in, you're in good company with Indiana Jones. So now it's snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Snakes. Yeah. Not afraid snakes. of snakes. Not, not afraid of snakes. Not a spider I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Which is scary yeah. in and itself, right? Like, uh, that's a big spider. <laughs> That's I amazing. hate you all. <laughs> no, you don't. She does not like spiders. Uh, I don't either. I do. I have no problem with spiders. I have no problem with snakes. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. No. So, so I've done the delivery. Right. Mm -hmm. And build. Build. I will build one cube into here. Okay. Pop. That goes up. Cost me ten, and that will bump that up. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And what are you doing? Paying dividends? Uh, I assume. Well, certainly am. Yes. So, so seven dollars a share. Seven a share. Oh. Thank you. I mean, you just see something out of your periphery just come with. <laughs> I, I see. I hear it. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Okay. Um, all right. So no delivery for the CNW, but it does have money. Um, it will pay five to the Dosa. Check that. Hold on. This is red, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't matter whether it's a one jump or a two, but it'll pay ten dollars to the Dosa, and then ten to the bank to go into Iron Mountain. That'll bump it up two. Pay the dividend. Sixteen bucks for the CNW for me. Eight a share. Sorry. 
Um, there we go. Yeah. You can just give me two blue, and I'll give you. Sorry, give me one. Two blue. Mm. Oh, um. What? What? I don't think you want to do what you just did. I do. Hey, you're right. Hold on. I, I pay do. ten, Aww. right? Yeah. Well, you're we're right. <laughs> well, no, it doesn't matter. It does. Yeah, it does. <laughs> you're right. It does. So in that case, move it just one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, do it, do it. <laughs> Save the bacon. There we go. You're right. That does matter. You're right. All right. You should so, explain that for the. Go, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. Loudly. So, uh, by doing that, Edward gave ten dollars to Yellow to Doso, which gives them twenty dollars, which gives them one build right here, which gives them enough for this, which means. They don't have to use the magical cube. But there's well, no delivery. Right, delivery happens. Yeah, delivery before, doesn't matter, though. Yeah. Delivery happens before I build. So. That doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's yeah no, it did. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah, it would have paid a little bit more. Yeah, it would have paid out more because it would have gone up yeah. higher. That's why I don't want to give him the was. ability to do yes. that. Yes. Yeah. But had it gone one more round, one more yes, round that would have mattered. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so now Dosa can make a delivery. Yep. So it has to. So that is eight dollars. Closes. Mm -hmm. So eight to the company and eight to Alan. Mm -hmm. No bonus. No bonus. Full. Right. <sighs> and you're going to build <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. No um, I don't. I can't get the three. You have nineteen dollars. Right. Uh, yeah. There's no way to get the three. So one's good enough. So we'll just spend ten to go here. <laughs> Yeah, yep. because one jump's the same as two jumps, so it doesn't... Oh, yeah, you don't have enough money. Yeah. So, Crystal Falls, welcome to the map. So this there we go. Seven. And paying dividends, mm -hmm. I assume. Yep. Ah! That's enough, unfortunate. Yep. All right, so that triggers the end of the game. That's it. So oh, and uh, these two bump up because of the delivery. There's that. All right, so cash out your shares. Add your cash on hand, and that's all... Uh, so close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. So CNW is at 58, and Dosa is at 72. And the Sioux is 8. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I can double check okay. that. That seems awful, yeah. Well, I guess that's right. Well, it, it would be nah. the same payout, one jump, two jumps, but he would have been able to do three jumps. Right. Because there and there. If I, right? yeah. yeah or, or there and there, well, whichever. Yeah. But it would have been a buck short to be able to do three jumps, even with the extra oh, 10. Oh, even with the extra 10? Yeah, because it would have been at 29, oh. and I wouldn't need the 30. Uh, oop, Again, a dollar short. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 All right. So I'm at 278. Looks like Jess is at 303. 298. 298 for Alan. Yes. 271. 271 for 274. Andrew. 274. And 274. So Jess wins 303. <laughs> Alan, 298. Five dollar difference. Five. Wow. And didn't. Wow. Mm. And then you said what, Martin? 274. 278 for third for mm -hmm. me, 274 for Martin, and 271. And 271. So close, though. That wow. is such a bunch. And I should have not done that because I could have slow played it and tanked your freaking chairs. Yes, yes. Like, you are correct. Yeah. I needed those deliveries. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. But also keep in mind, Jess is an investor in CEW or uh -huh. CNW, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> I needed deliveries uh, and, and I around? needed that for CNW, sure. so. All right. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. What'd you guys think? Thoughts on the game? Well, it's the first uh, Cube Rails game I've ever tried. I've not tried anything like Irish Gage or Winsome Games or anything like that. Um, I just I find it really fascinating. It's 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 nice and small. The rules aren't too complicated. I mean, just for the. Um, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, look, yeah, I mean oh, yeah. it's so three here, pages of rules. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's so very small rules. 
there um, and there. And also, Eric Brocious actually did a player aid on BGG as well. Yeah. That is really nice as well. So. It sounds a little bit complicated when you're explaining it. Once okay. you get into the game, it, it very quickly the rules go away and you're playing the game. And it's just really fascinating how asymmetric the companies are. Um, and I do find that very, very interesting. The flip side is that opening auction is really yeah. important. And obviously, when you're starting to play the game, you don't know how to value anything. Um, in fact, if I was to play this again tomorrow, I would still not know how to value anything. <laughs> um, so you can easily shoot yourself in the foot in the opening auction and not even realize that there's a hole in your foot until halfway through the game. And by then, it's too late because you're already dying. Um, on and the that, positive note on that, though, is it's a relatively short game. And that's price. an important yes. point. Right. I mean, if this was a five or six hour game, which I'm told can happen with 18xx's, then it's a long, painful period of a hole in your foot. Mm -hmm. Here, it's only you know a relatively short amount of time, and you get to patch up your foot and play again. So that is nice. Um, and I feel there are other things as well where it's very, very easy to accidentally cut your hand off on this mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. um, and that isn't going to appeal to everybody. I think it. There was a review of this done on the Trainers podcast, and they made the comment that really this was a good game if you have a group of people who want to play it several yes. times and yeah. really dig into yeah. it. Right. And um, I, I will just steal their opinion because I think that seems to be quite accurate. If you've got the group that will do that, I think this is a really fascinating game. There's a lot of interesting things going on and, and it's something you could really mine and play with. I won't because it doesn't play two players. But. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I really, really like it. Uh, it's. Oh, I should note that we don't have a copy of this, no. so this is actually yes. Andrew's copy that made this possible, so thank you for doing that, mm -hmm. by the way. Yeah, um, Yeah. just like Echoey Martin, it's really interesting. There's very small differences between these companies, but they just play so yes. differently. Like, mm -hmm. having the presidency of the mm -hmm. CNW, as you could see, was a battle against temptation for Edward. <laughs> oh, <the entire> <laughs> oh, I really want to build... No, I need yeah. more cubes, I need to hold out. And, yeah. Right, whereas, yeah. like, the Sioux line is just like slowly trudging through the Michigan wilderness to get uh, all the way up to the mountains. Uh, it's really, really cool. I think like the concern I have with the game is that the auction is just so fragile. Yes. Like it's so easy mm -hmm. for it just to go off the rails and become like basically a degenerate situation where like the game is almost not worth playing. Right. Uh, which is rough, especially for new people. Uh, and I still like I still I mean, I've only played this. This is my third time playing it. So I'm still at a stage where I'm in the auction. I'm just like holding my breath and like, hope we get through this and the game is okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want, I want it to go smoothly in a way so that we can see what happens because it's not interesting if someone just gets Runs all away with it. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but it's like, it's, it's so engaging and I love it. And it's just, it packs a lot into a really short amount of time. Yeah. It's a small game and it punches way above its weight. It, it, it's, it was interesting even because I, I, I played it on my own last night to try and mostly just to reinforce the rules. Four player on your own, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then watching, and I'm, I was primarily an investor in this game, but um, just having, because you played it all together midweek, and it was interesting to see how much things had evolved from last, <laughs> last weekend. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, this is a big jump in terms of the subtlety of people's moves and mm -hmm. anticipating what might happen. And, uh, and it was a very close game. The, I echo the thing about the auction. You, you know, there are certain things you can't let happen in the auction. But I think that that's that's really interesting. It forces mm. your hand in mm -hmm. some ways. You have I, to. Account you for heard it. what the decision. I was forced yes. to buy yes. right. the private that I yeah. didn't want to buy because I yeah. knew I was going to be yeah. foobard if I didn't. Yeah. And I wonder how much, uh, as 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 to Martin's point, if you invest in time with a with a, a group of people who are learning this together, how much control and influence you can further mm. have inside that auction. Um, it, it, it's a fascinating game. It's completely asymmetric. I like mm. how Martin managed to pull the Sioux in and make it a really interesting company. It can get stuck, I think, mm. depending oh, yeah. on how oh, you definitely. play it. Definitely. Um, love it. Uh, yeah, and it's short. If, even, if, even if you do blow yourself up, you know, and, right. and even as an investor tonight, I mean, I wasn't playing, running any of the companies. I was fascinated watching what people were doing with their companies. So you were invested, even though you weren't, in, you were engaged, yeah. even though you weren't running. Yeah, and hadn't had say, you know, Andrew perhaps done a move that might have hurt my position. I probably would have mm -hmm. picked up, but you didn't. <laughs> 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 so I needed to pay attention. I couldn't ignore that. Right. I couldn't just mm. sort of sit there and do nothing. I really had to watch it. All right. Uh, yeah, I mean, as an investor, you're still 
watching what everybody's doing and yeah. maybe I kind of like I had alluded to playing a little bit of bluffing or like oh mm -hmm. no you it's fine you should do that <laughs> like you want yeah. to get people yeah. to do things yeah. that are going to benefit you you're also not out of the game as an investor because no. you can take over a company yeah. just by I'm, getting that yeah, share I was, right. I was trying to Get yours. And right. I, yeah, I so would keep my eye on you yeah. to like prevent that from happening. Yeah. Exactly. It, or sometimes you want that. In the right. other game we played, I was like, nope, I yeah. don't want anything more to do with the Sioux line. So right. I'm going to just keep it at one yeah. and someone's going to take and it. And Tom brought up the idea of you dumping the CW yes. on somebody. Right. Yes. And, and then, yeah. it, or, or yeah. running both the companies yeah. and then making and the helping. CNW help the Sioux right. to do yeah. what yeah. essentially yeah. Martin yeah. eventually I did. I tried to do, do that soloing it. I tried to have the two of the companies really work together and piggyback. And mm -hmm. across the yeah. board. Because, I mean, the suit requires that yeah. or else it's in such a rough shape. Yeah. At least, in my experience, only a handful Maybe. of plays so yeah. far, yeah. it seems like the Sioux benefits from the piggybacking, which Tom alluded to. But earlier. that's what's great about it, right? Because there's so many different ways this can go. And we know from the rules where you should reset after that auction. If it really right. goes right. wonky, mm -hmm. here's Nobody the thing. Yeah. 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 Which is kind of hilarious in itself. You get yeah. through the auction and you're like, and you just won the game. Okay. Reset, put it back out. Good game. And again, and I clear that that's the case. And I yeah, like, like that, though. Yeah. That's actually yeah. really yeah. funny and quirky. And and um, I alluded to online when I was talking about this, I had no plan coming into it, even having played it before. There wasn't some clear cut, okay, I'm going to go for this tonight. Nope. I'm just mm. going to see what other people do. Mm. Maybe try to bluff my way into getting what I want by making other people think I don't want something or do want something. Um, but y'all can read really well, so that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. It 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 It's quirky and it plays... Mm. In that initial option, it changes oh, depending yeah. yes. on it's so the order different. in yeah. which So how are you going to predict that? Yeah. Like you, you, just, you can't yeah. have a plan coming no. no in because yeah. once that initial layout is mm -hmm. set, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. wow, okay, the fact that Van Winkle is the last uh, private, now it has three cubes. It has three goods, so it's going to last longer than it normally would. Yep. And Mm. And in our first game, the Sioux line was the very first thing to get auctioned. And we're yeah. like, we have no idea what it's worth. <laughs> I don't know. It, it almost feels like there's three phases. There's the initial auction, which is crucial. There's the does the stock disappear faster than you think they're, oh, yeah. they're yes. gone. And yes. then there's the end game. Yeah. But I have a question with the stock, though. Did people feel they were making decisions when it came to the stock? Because I sort of felt like, both in the first game and this game, that it was kind of obvious yeah. what to do when it comes to buying stock. I did when it comes to whether or not to pass as an action. Yes. Yeah, um, that matters. If I could take Upon control the... of the priority yeah. deal. Right. I think that's yeah. when it matters. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I couldn't afford the DOSA, so yeah. it was either pass or get another share of the CNW. Yeah. Um, or get another share of the Sioux instead to then be able to take over the Sioux. So yeah. I yeah. think there are times. Yeah. It's the pass that really brings it in because getting mm. that $5 actually could matter. Yes. Do I want the five? Yeah. I know that the Sioux is going to be worth one. Is it really going to jump enough yeah. to make this move worth it? And as you yeah. saw in the scores, that can matter. Yeah. Just mm. that couple bucks yeah. can make a difference. So that $5 passing is what makes it yeah. really interesting. I think we're uh, up to this point. Outside of that, I think we've overlooked looked the importance of that pass yeah mm -hmm. um and i and again we're not positive that this is a thing but it feels like that yeah. that is a meaningful decision mm -hmm. um for controlling the priority deal yeah i right. thought about it quite hard on one of the buys and then i said oh i don't i think it's better to buy but yeah. I, did, I did have that same decision that you had. right mm -hmm. so right. i think so but i think the more you play this the more the decision space opens up with that i think but I could be wrong. It could be mm. wrote uh, I think that, for the majority of the decision. I think it depends also on the number of people. Because yeah. if you have more people, yes. I think there are yeah. more opportunities for someone to pass and more importance yeah. to passing to get priority. Yeah. Whereas if there's only three people, it's like, well, it's not that much mm -hmm. around. Like you can, yeah. and everyone and the shares get are more plentiful yeah. Yeah. in that case too. I'm right? positioning yourself to make sure you get those shares based on where the priority deal is. Oh, yeah. yes. they jump fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, when oh, I was yeah. last, I can buy one. No, I can't. When you right. had it, I yeah. was like, no, you can't have priority deal again. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, there you go. Anything else? Uh, I mean, we'll say we. So we played this at three on Monday. I think I like it better at five. I haven't tried oh. it at four. Oh, but yeah. I, I do too. Yeah. I I much prefer this at five versus three. Can't speak to four yeah. yet. But if if I had my druthers, it would be four or five probably okay. for sure. Yeah. yeah. Three. 
it plays three, but I don't think it shines as well. It does three in yeah. limited experience so far. But it doesn't yeah, have I the same that's... breadth of uh, opportunity, I think, especially in the stock round. It, feels it just much doesn't more... feel as tight. Yeah. It, does, it feels too open and too loose. And yeah. with five privates, it becomes a game it feels like. Again, it's once at three players, but it felt like the game was more the auction than anything else yes. in a three-player yeah. game than, any, mm -hmm. than, than anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Though in that game we let somebody end up with twenty dollars private, in privates. And doesn't it say that in the rules we <laughs> set? So we might have needed to yeah. Right, but yeah. Jess actually made it competitive I was close. with you. I yeah, was she did. Close, but, um, yeah. but that's because you closed one of those privates like almost immediately. Right. Which well, you had to do. I, I you had still to, get you still right, got the right. bonus and the no, yeah. payoff for it though. But yeah. yeah. So follow what it suggests in yeah. the rule book. <laughs> we should have reset. But it was so fun. Yeah. There you go. All right, so there you go. And Greg, thanks again for uh, <laughs> hanging yep. out thanks with us. Thanks for Swazi. This was yep. good. All right, good. All right. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, Tom, for thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that as well. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, you can uh, purchase copies through Holland Spiel's website. So I, I think it's hollandspiel.com. Uh, sure. Go with it. I think so. <laughs> Google uh, Holland Spiel. Yeah, there you go. Right, right. Google there, it. Right. There you go. Print uh, print on demand uh, publisher. Uh, small print runs. And by print runs, it's print on demand. So there you go. If you guys liked it, like and subscribe down below. You guys want to support the show and uh, show your support in what it is that we're doing here on Heavy Cardboard. You can go to pledgehc.com and join the herd there. You get a bunch of perks, and we get perks like upgrading our equipment so definitely would appreciate the support that said we'll be back tomorrow afternoon uh, i know it's the three of us and i think that might be it for dustin wings a little thinky filler uh, lunchtime stream what what uh okay yeah it's hollandspiel.com thanks tom all right good deal so uh we'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon other than that have a great evening i'm edward i'm jess i'm alan i'm martin andrew I'm Greg. <laughs> all right. You guys have a wonderful evening. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye, Take care, everybody. I feel really bad, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Hang out with us. We'll